Good morning guys. Today I'm going to take you along for a little day in LA because a lot of you guys have requested that and I've been very bad about vlogging my actual day to day life here. But today is an exciting day because we're going to the fashion district which is my first time going since like living here which is exciting and I actually do need to pick up a few things. And I'm going with a few of my social media friends which you guys might recognize so I'm excited about that. I'm going with Isabel which I've met up with her a few times already in LA. She's like the best. Meeting up with Brandy as well which you guys if you are on TikTok you probably know her really well too and then I recently connected with Joanne and she's also really really great has a lot of really great experiences and just has a lot coming up so I'm very excited I'm the only one that knows all of them personally and I was like we need to have like a little fashion design group of friends because it's a really niche specific job to have and it's just nice when you can relate to other people so I was like let's just all get together hang out I've met with all of you individually like I think you guys will get along just fine and I think it's gonna be really fun so we're gonna go grab brunch around the fashion district and then we're gonna head over there and kind of just like walk around do the things and I personally just like need to pick up a few things and I'm just excited for them to give me a little tour of their like favorite places and stuff because I feel like the fashion district is a little bit intimidating if you don't know it too well because there is just a lot going on so I want to know like everybody's you know go-to stores best deals all that type of stuff so that I can then use those too and I'm hoping to actually be good about vlogging today because whenever I'm around people, especially like newer friends, I just like feel so awkward bringing out a camera and like I don't, I don't know, I don't want it to like overpower the day and like I wanna make sure I'm like present with people, but I also do wanna show you guys and I'm sure a lot of you guys who aren't LA based would love to see the fashion district and like that's relevant to this channel. So hopefully we'll see how that goes, but yeah, let's go ahead and head out. outside right now but if you guys don't mind that I can't really do anything about it but I just got back home it was super fun we got brunch and then we walked around the fashion district each one of us kind of had little things we had to pick up anyway so it worked out for all of us but I'll do a little haul for you guys first and foremost I got some oil because as you guys know my sewing machine spilled all their oil on the move so I have to refill it before I can actually use them again so gonna do that so got that and now I just have a bunch of extra for later too which is really great I also want to and purchased another one of these rulers these are my favorite rulers ever i use them all the time and i have a few but because i use my rotary cutter like alongside them so much sometimes i'll like snag it with the rotary cutter to the point where now i don't have like a straight edge ruler to actually pattern with all of them are just like jank now so i decided it was time to get a fresh one which is really funny also because while i was grabbing it i think we all grabbed one because we've all apparently done the same and we all kind of break them so didn't know it was a thing for all of us to go through them so fast but apparently it is so I thought that was funny. Then I also got some styling tape for draping. I've never actually used it. I always had like ribbon that I would like pin, but honestly, I could really use some. <laughs> so I don't know how I've lasted this long without it, but I got some of that. I got some extra like universal needles just in case. I'm not sure if I had any of these or if I was running out, but I feel like I was running out, so I got some. And then I got some thread that I needed for one of the new fabrics that I have, and then a couple of zippers as well that I needed. So that is my little haul. It was so nice to get out and get into the district. They kind of showed me their favorite little spots. It's just like nice to hang out with people that get it and also people who can kind of hang out whenever as well. I think I'm just gonna take a breather for a little bit and just chill and kind to figure out what I want to do next today. I do know I want to go to the farmer's market today because I need a couple things. But other than that, I kind of just need to situate myself. I have one package that I need to send out like ASAP. So that's also a thing I need to do. But yeah, I'm going to just like chill out for a hot minute and then we'll situate ourselves and continue with whatever I need to do. <music> So 
I took a little break, answered some emails, did some work I needed to do. I am currently planning New York Fashion Week, getting that situated. And then I also am participating in a fashion show in Austin, Texas, which is literally next weekend. Obviously, I'm not going to physically be there, but it's with Refined Shopping, which I've done a bunch of stuff with. And one of these days, I will make it to the actual event. They've done so many cool things, and obviously, I'm invited every time, and I've done things with them and sent my stuff, but it's never lined up for me to be able to be there, which is so sad, but one of these days, I'll make it. Anyway, I just packaged up a very big package to send them for the actual fashion show that they're doing, and they're sending them some stuff for a little pop-up as well. So it feels nice to like get some stuff out of here. I feel like my rack is a little less crowded now, which kind of makes it nice. So I'm excited to get these out. I'm going to go to the post office to drop this off, and then we're gonna go to the farmer's market to pick up some things, and yeah, I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm starting to get into like a little bit of a working routine, especially now that I'm like planning New York Fashion Week and kind of like having to stay up to date with that. I feel like that's been really stressful in a lot of ways, but also really helpful and just like getting me to check my stuff every single day and get back into that kind of routine because before that, it's not like I had like brand deals going on or like customer messages to keep up with. Like I really didn't have too much. Like I still had a lot of emails, but like it wasn't things that I needed to be like on top of 24 seven. So feel good that I'm back into that routine. I'm feeling, feeling good about it. And we still managed to socialize today. So that is also a plus. Anyway, let's go drop this off and go to the farmer's market. I can't believe this is like the first little package I'm dropping off at the post office. Like, how exciting. Okay, so I dropped off the package and went to the farmer's market. I'll do a little haul. I got this juice that was a blood orange juice. I don't know, the guy told me it was really good and that it was the last week that they were gonna be doing them. So I was like, you know what? Sure, we'll go for it. And it just sounded really refreshing when I was out in the heat. Then I got some Puots, which literally didn't even know what that was before I went to the farmer's market, but there's this little stand that has samples that you can try and tried one they were really good and I was like you know what I should probably eat some fruit every once in a while because I'm not a big like fruit eater I feel like in Indiana it doesn't grow that well like it's not a tropical place or like a very fruit centered place I feel like I just never grew up eating too many fruits besides like what my mom would force me to eat so I feel like I need to take advantage of the fact that they have a lot better fruit here and I just need to you know be better about that and then what I really went for was eggs because I realized I would rather just buy from like farmers than go to like Trader Joe's and buy eggs so did that which I'm very excited about and the guy like knows me now because I've gone like pretty often and he speaks Spanish and I speak Spanish to him and he was so shocked when I spoke Spanish with him so really funny but yeah that is my little haul for the day I am sweating I'm about to like down this juice a bit I think I have a little bit more computer work to do, more emails to answer, videos to edit, all that kind of stuff, trying to really get myself situated here. Okay, he was not lying. This is really freaking good. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work and uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. Good morning, guys. It has been a few days since the previous clip, but today is going to be our first official work day. So it is actually Monday now. It is Monday, July 18th. So I believe it's been a week since the last clip. I'm not entirely sure, but I've been getting things ready. I have actually started working a little bit. I got some things cut up and I also started just like minorly sewing some stuff. Nothing crazy. Just trying to get myself organized and trying to get something going. But today is Monday. So today I just want like a clean start to the day. I've got lots to do and I am ready to tackle it, hopefully.
gotten through quite a little bit. I have a almost full Diana dress done. I have to put the tag on it and do the hem and then she'll be done. I have one like midway through and then I have a flora top that is also almost done. I just need to do the elastic shirring on it. But I usually do that on my home sewing machine because I haven't figured out the correct tension and vibe for it on my Juki. Like I know it's possible, but I messed around with it a little bit and it wasn't turning out right and I just don't feel like doing that. So I'm just gonna have to do it on my sewing machine later, but I didn't want to set it up. So slowly but surely getting through it. Definitely feeling like a slower pace than usual because I just, it's so hard to get back into it, but feeling all right. I think I'll feel good once I actually completely finish some stuff and like have it out and just be able to like check something off. Like that always keeps me going. But currently going through some more emails and things because I am simultaneously planning New York Fashion Week, which if you haven't heard, I don't know if I've really mentioned it yet. Maybe I have, but I'm hosting my own New York Fashion Week show and I'm super excited about it. I kind of just wanted to have like my own show where I can feature like my favorite independent designers and people that like I really love and feel should have the spotlight too and do it in a way that isn't super expensive for them because New York Fashion Week is so expensive to show at if you're doing it with any company, which I feel like isn't talked about enough. Like you pay to do New York Fashion Week, like you don't get invited. So I teamed up with like all of my favorite people and I'm hosting it, hosting all of them. And I think it's gonna be super great, but obviously there's a lot of logistics behind it and we have a lot of planning to do. And also naturally the end of the year just always has so much going on. Personally, like I have one of my cousins is getting married in August. So I have to go to Mexico for that. And then September is gonna be New York. And then after that, we've got the holidays. So like Thanksgiving, I'm flying back to Indiana and then Christmas, I'm actually going to Spain. So there's just like a lot that's coming up and I'm like aware of that. So I'm trying to like really hone down on everything and get all the details and logistics figured out now so that I'm not stressed later. And obviously I still have to make my actual collection for New York, um, which is also a thing. So lots going on. Um, so I'm really trying to figure out a good balance of everything, especially because I now have actually had a social life here in LA and it's been super fun to actually, you know, hang out and have plans and all the things. But now I'm not working like seven days a week, which is good and healthy to not be working seven days a week, but it's just kind of learning that balance. So that's where I'm at. So currently figuring that out, but yeah, probably gonna have lunch soon because it's like 1130-ish. So I'm probably gonna finish up some emails, make some lunch, and then we'll continue on with the day. cut off all of the excess like little threads that are sticking out and make sure everything is good to go when it comes to like the little serger threads like the little tails i used to cut them off and then i learned that you could like thread them onto like a needle and put them back in so they're kind of tucked away and it looks a lot cleaner so ever since i learned that i try to remember to do that so that's what i'm doing here it is like two-ish right now and i feel good about the amount of work that i've been able to get done i think i might start cutting some other things out today or something or actually no you know what i should really finish the floor top that I have almost done just to get three full things out of the way. That's what I should do. Anyway, while I have you guys here, I am excited to finally get back into like regular vlogs again and like work vlogs and just doing stuff. Like I've been doing a lot of things, but I don't really like to vlog my personal life too much. Like my, I don't know, actual private life and being with friends and things just because I like to keep my private life a little more private. But at the same time, like I, I don't know, I like to vlog sometimes, other times I don't, it just depends. But I feel like majority of my life lately has just been like, you know, hanging out with people and doing that type of stuff. So I haven't been able to really vlog and share too much. So I'm excited to get back into work things that I can share with you guys and all the things. I feel like I'm finally, finally settled here and it feels really freaking good to 
finally feel like I have friends that I could reach out to. I have like my work, I can do all my things. You know, I feel like I know the area pretty well. I feel comfortable going places and all the things because obviously it took me a little bit getting used to like, I don't know, all the freaking traffic and the driving here is so different. Obviously than any other part of the country, or at least like any more like rural, normal suburban part of the country. So I feel, feel good. Um, thank you to everybody who has checked in on me because I've had a lot of people DM me asking me how I am and all that, which is very nice and I appreciate it very much. But I am genuinely doing so, so well to the point where it's it's like, I feel like it's like wrong that I'm doing so well. Like I'm like, is there a catch? Like, am I missing something? Is something tragic coming my way? Like why, why are things going so well? Like you, do you ever feel that? Like when things are going so well, you're like, this is too good to be true. Like there's no way. That's where I'm at currently. So crazy. But I also think that's just because the past few years have just been such hard years generally that it's like crazy to think that I'm at a point where things are like good. Not that things were like awful, but I feel like there's just been a lot going on the past few years and it's nice to finally feel like things are calming down a little more settled and I feel like everything that I've been working for is like slowly coming into fruition. Like I feel like the past few years have really been transitional years for me. And I feel like I'm finally coming out of that transition and like settling into this like new, like position of life, I guess. So yeah, those are my current thoughts. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll finish up this flora top and have three things done for today. And then hopefully we can start cutting out some more things later today. My goal is to get all of these uh, pending orders out by the end of this week. So then I can open up the shop again for to get new orders. <laughs> orders that I had. I had five that I could package up. So have them in here. I'm going to go take them to the post office because I just want to get them out and want people to start receiving them ASAP. And just, I can't honestly keep too many things in my space. I have such a small space now that I really need to keep things like super organized and stay on top of it all so it doesn't pile up. So I'm going to go take these to the post office and I will be back later and we'll see what more we get into. So I am back and it is so hot. I am going to indulge in a little chai tea latte real quick because I need to cool down. trying to figure out all the best angles that I can shoot at in my place and luckily I feel like it's been really great. I get really wonderful natural light in here and it's not even direct because I do have buildings on either side of my windows but they're like just far enough to where I still get a really good amount of light which I'm so thankful for and yeah I feel like the space feels good. I feel like I like the setup. I like the way that it looks on camera. At the same time, it's kind of weird because my sewing setup is like pretty much the exact same, like with the pegboards and everything. And I feel like whenever I film there, it looks like I'm filming in my old house and it's so trippy. Like it looks so similar that I'm like, whoa. And same with like, just like the little corners of my house that are obviously the same because I'm using the same furniture, same things I had. It's just like kind of fun to just have those things with me and like they still remind me of my past house, but it still feels so new at the same time. So kind of fun. I I honestly think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day on the computer doing some stuff because I've completely neglected my emails today except for like a tiny amount of time before lunch, but I need to do that and I need to do some more New York Fashion Week prep. Anyway, that being said, I think I might end the vlog here because it's probably long enough. I'm really trying to cut down on my vlogs and make them more concise and not so long and also a little more purposeful maybe. I feel like I just got into a habit of like recording my daily life and editing it and whatever and not really like trimming it back or making it more fun. So I really, really want to make it a little more enjoyable to watch hopefully a little more concise maybe a little bit shorter let me know what you think on that i feel like obviously those 
of you who watch me like religiously are not gonna care either way and you're gonna support whatever I put out which I'm literally so thankful for but I feel like currently my content doesn't necessarily like attract new people in as much because it's just kind of like only interesting or not I don't want to say it's only interesting if you know who I am but it's like you know, you wouldn't probably click on my video unless you know who I am. So I'm trying to make things a little more interesting, a little more enjoyable. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any ideas, whatever, I'm very open. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out my Instagram and TikTok if you haven't because I'm gonna start being more active on there now and the algorithm currently hates me. So I would really appreciate the support. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. We are so close to 100K, which I don't think I've even like said on here, but as of right now, I think we're at like 99.2 or something which is insane first of all yeah we're at 99,218 subscribers right now which is literally like unfathomable so subscribe if you haven't i am so excited to hit 100k i really honestly wanted to do something fun for it like a giveaway or something but just because i thought that by the time you hit 100k you're probably making a good amount of money on youtube but i'm gonna be the first to say that numbers do not equal money <laughs> because I'm still not at that level that you'd expect somebody at 100K to be. So I'm not at a point where I can do a giveaway, unfortunately. Also because I just moved and just have a lot of expenses currently, but I would love to do something for 100K. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any ideas on that. I'd love to hear because I, at this rate, should be hitting it in the next month or so, which is literally crazy. But anyway, all that to say, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.